It's Tuesday now and we got five games for you on tap. Relax, sit back and enjoy your daily KHL update. My name is Andreas Sachinko. Let's get right to it. We're going to start with the big one. We're in Novosibirsk where Sibir holds top team of the league, SKA St. Petersburg. Early in the first period, Konstina Kulov goes for a solo dash. He puts on nice moves. Can't put it past Mika Koskinen though. Moving on to the second period and Koskinen comes up big again. This time he stops Stepan Sanikov, no once but twice in tight. Koskinen is certainly having a good night against his former team. But late in the period, Sibir find a way to get one past him. Jonas Kampanen scores his 8th of the year as Adam Polasek picks up an assist. The puck went in of Kampanen skates, that blows the roof off the belt and Sibir lead 1-0. Less than two minutes later, SKA spring up for a two-on-one rush short-handed. Alexander Borobana feeds Nikolai Porkorkin and he has his second of the year. That's Porkorkin's first career short-handed goal on the K and the game is tied at one. He goes to overtime and Alexander Borobanov scores the winner. Ironically, another former severe player, Patrick Hursley, picks up his first point as a SKA player. That's gonna do it. SKA wins their seventh consecutive game. 2-1 overtime is your final. Let's head over to Yekaterinburg while Tom Ballistic on Lokomotiv. Home team strikes first. Eight minutes into the game, Evgeny Chisalin pulls everyone with a smart pass from the office to Alexander Turchinyuk, and Turchinyuk does his sixth of the season. One up and up down the list. Two minutes later, Lokomotiv going to power play. Stefan Cromwell feeds Pavel Kolder for a one tamper from the point. He goes for it, and Max Talbot buries the rebound. Talbot celebrates his sixth of the season as well, and it's a 1 1 hockey game. Still on the first, Lokomotiv going a 5 on 3 power play and they convert again. This time it's Brandon Colson who finds the back of the net with a shot from on top of the circles. That gives Loco a 2 1 lead up to 20. Early in the second period, up time the list tie it up. It comes on a power play as well. 5 on 2 Bill lets it rip from the point and Jan Buchtel stuffs it in on a rebound. That's his fourth and what tied it twos. Four minutes later, we get to see our first even strength goal of the night. Stanislav Chistov nets one on a breakaway while NHL prospects Pavel Kroskovsky and Igor Korshkov pick up the assists. Loco lead 3-2 now. Moving on to the third period and Loco score another one. This time Stanislav Chistov sets up Andrei Lotionov for the third of the year. That's one gorgeous give and go right there. A few minutes later Chistov sets up Calgary Flames prospect Kusha and Rafikov for a point shot and that leads to another goal by Andrei Lotionov. He's second of the night and fourth of the year. Loco lead 5-2 now. Late on regulation, Rock Teacher brings up Timbilis back within two as he scores his seventh, but that doesn't mean much in the big picture. Brandon Colson scores his second of the night on an empty net with less than a minute left on the clock, and Lokomotiv go on to win this one 6 3 on the road. Welcome to Hunting Man's East, where Yugra hosts Vitas. No scoring in the first, so we pick it up from the second. Vitas are on the power play. Mira Altina sets up Jakob Jurovic at the point. He puts it on net and it goes straight in. Jurovic scores his second of the year and it's 1 0 Vitas. Ten minutes later, it's Yugur who have a mad advantage and they convert as well. If Gino Lipinkov beats Pablo Lopolomir for his eighth of the year. Former MHL superstar is making an impact in the K this year. Tie game 1 1. Game winning goal comes halfway through the third period. Roman Hork and Maxima Finnegan upsets up Nikita Bingles up for his third of the year. Beautiful play to get the three points on the road. 2 1 Vitas is your final. Head over to Astana, Kazakhstan now, where Boris meet Dynamo Moscow. Not a lot of scoring in this one either. In fact, Kevin Dalmas marker 13 minutes into the opening period of play is the only goal the fans were treated to that night. Henry Carlson stopped 35 shots for his second shot out of the year, and Boris won their first game in seven days. Lots of pushing, lots of shoving, but just one goal. Boris take this one 1 0 on all ice. And just one more score to tell you about, Severstal beat Kuzna 2-1. Alexander Absent's fifth career goal proved to be the game winner. And that's it for your daily KHL update. Come back tomorrow though for eight more games including Admiral Magnitka and Jokiri vs Sochi. My name is Andreas Sachinka, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you Wednesday.